Um, um. Hello everyone, Royal King here looking up from uh, New York City and welcome to picking up the pieces. Yeah, that's right. That is our Friday night presentation. As tonight we got a lot of stuff going on here. We got Seidel against Brimstone, two out very falls match. We also got the tag team titles, but there's been some breaking news. I guess Mr. Amazing has uh up and left must see wrestling. What the heck? I guess the uh, argument between him and uh, recently returned athlete, but general, Ma yeah, former general manager Joe Kenny has really culminated. I don't know, man. Sad situation. Kept blaming Kenny for stuff, and uh, you know what? It was. I don't know. I, yeah, I, I, you know what? In my opinion, I just couldn't believe any of it. I know, you know, he told me I didn't have an opinion. But he, you know, horrible. Very horrible. Uh, I guess now that uh, Seth Rollins got a little bit of a wall to uh, but he he can was it uh, looks like Bobby Six Killers here, but the committee of MSW has uh, let him pick a uh, part a substitute partner tonight to see if uh, they can retain those titles against their challengers tonight, Lorenzo and Corey Crichton in a Tornado Tag Two All Three Falls match. Well, I basically feel sorry for Seth Rollins in this situation. And what is Bobby Six Killer doing back here? This is interesting. Put it that way. Ah, you thought you never see me again, didn't you? It's great to be back, fans. I took care of my business with everything going on in uh, Las Vegas, my little uh, little casino. I have our uh, a little side project, and now I decided to be back after there was all kinds of stuff going on here. Kay retired and became a wrestler again. I see. I see. Also, Chris Bat was. Uh, oh, I heard somebody. Uh, it's on really bad to him that caused him to uh, commit to a. Uh, I will be coming back. My, my parents are in thoughts are with me. And I heard that Mr. Amazing left, and it's like, okay, what the heck's going on here? And I read all the comments on the forum about what he was saying about everybody, and, and especially Joe Kennedy, and, uh, and what he did uh, with his partnership with Honda Crunchy. It's like, oh my gosh. I'll tell you that much right now. This is just a horrible state of affairs. I would love to see him come back to the federation, but let him clear his head for so I'll take care of Triple H. Because I think that's what's got wrapped up. And when that happens, maybe we can have respect match between him and uh, any Dumbo. Who knows? And you know, but you know what? I'm happy to be back. I would never say I'd be back here, but I am. And it feels great. We're going to have some great, uh, we're going to have some great stuff. First match we're going to have tonight is the Golden Ticket Battle Royal, 20-man Royal Rumble. Winner gets to use that Golden Ticket on any, any kind of match he wants. So pick your poison team. Thank you, fans. Thank you for welcoming me back. You guys are always a pleasure. All right, wrestling fans. Uh... Great to have Bobby Six Killer back. I guess instead of looking for somebody that might, I don't know. I guess, uh, I guess I was lucky enough they called Six Killer at the right time, and he was willing to come back. Coming up, it's that Golden Ticket Royal Rumble. Now, what this happens is that uh, 
There's going to be 20 men in there that didn't have a match tonight. So that's what Bobby Six Killer did. He put them all in a battle royal. You can use that golden ticket for any type of match, singles, tag team, six-man title, non-title, first blood, whatever. It will be legitimate. It will be your match to uh, whatever fate that you could possibly uh, conquer here. We got 20 of the finest people there. We got Adam Strange, Ashley Nugent, Baron Von Farkas, Billy Paul, Demolition Man, Evan Magnificent, Anu Premji. I wonder what he's thinking about his uh, their friend leaving the area. Suki Urahara, Major James, Malachi Abramoff, Marvelous Merle, Motor City Mike. Of course, he's in this tonight because Alan B's uh, flight got delayed. And uh, basically, instead, now it's going to be Haman and Jeff Hardy, Nigel Murphy, Pro Raven, Roddy Taylor, Steve Williams, The Threat, Tyler Meacher, and Wolfchild. Wolfchild has won to wrestle twice tonight. So this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Look at that, Nigel Murphy starting. That's the two Murphy starting off. Nigel Murphy and uh, Tyler Beach. Right now. A person I would love to see him come back to the era, but you know what? Six goes like clear, clear your head. Uh, go up to Triple H. Make sure you get that out. Of the way, uh, they, yeah, and uh, maybe everything will be all right. Who knows? I'm both. Like that was was according to him. I'm the one that does that. So, uh, no. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm not. I I try to be impartial, but you know what? Try to say it. I'm to have that happen when, uh, or, uh, or by that sequence. And right now, Raven comes out in over three. We got more same what comes out in number four. I guess basically the last blow was when Patel told uh, Mr. Amazing that uh, stop picking on him. Yeah. And right now, Ashley Nugent, number five. Oh, Raven's calling me. Wow. So no more uh, ECW title rematches for him because I'm pretty sure there's. What are you using? What do you use that ticket for? Oh man, night. Oh man, you can tell this is a very important prestige because you got terror ink numbers going against each other. Nigel Murphy and Ashley Nooch. Right now we are on Twitch underneath uh, MSW Network. Just to let you know. Oh. Number six, the threat. Maybe the threat can all win it and give him, give him and his cousin a, uh, a, a tag team coach. I mean, anything could be possible. And, oh, I spoke too so. Uh, oh man, look at Hanu Crunchy. He did, I guess he's so explicit, he thinks he got Russell in a suit. The fans are not. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I guess. Uh, was it? Uh, Mr. Amazing was trying to think of trying to keep the the family, but, but it wouldn't work. I mean, he kept calling himself the world's most beautiful athlete. Uh, so 
up with that. Oh, oh Mo, what the heck? Moe's in a suit now, too? What the heck? Is he going to be their new uh, wrestler attire? That the wrestling thousand dollar suit? And Merle going right there, Nigel Murphy. Would you go that to Crimson? I guess Crimson's kind of having a punch against uh, Terry Colt. But when uh, they convince Shush Rita to turn the punch. Speaking of Terry, we'll be seeing a lot of all the matches with these guys later on. We'll be seeing off. Uh, Here comes Malachi out. I'm surprised that Nigel and Tyler are starting this. Well, it is a 20 man Royal Rumble, so that means, that means the less of the people are in it, you still got a good chance of uh, staying in it. And Nigel Murphy escapes. Oh, so does Nugent. He hits out. I don't know if he has one eye on Terry Murphy. I guess he's trying to solve the mystery about Chaz being kicked. But you know what? That's freaking awesome. I'll tell you what, I'll salute the guy if it's solved. I will definitely see. Oh, my Avril does not go over. Thank you. And Prunji trying to get rid of uh, Air. Now, the funny thing is that Will Charles going to wrestle in two matches tonight. He wants to wrestle in this one, and he told the management that he wants to defend the Great Lakes title, so. I, you know what? Joe's a man of amazing proportions. I'll tell you that much right now. I salute, I salute Wolf John right now. Looks like all the members of Bill Yarns Boys Club's in there. I'm, I'm sorry, Merle's not in there, but he's dressed up. Like Good night, Prince. He gets taken over by big, big giant Tyler Meacham. Oh man, it would be something for Tyler if he can win this matchup. Grab that golden ticket, that would be incredible. The only if I wanted a golden ticket, I'd prefer maybe to buy a Willy Wonka chocolate bar instead of uh, being, uh, was it being in this uh, type of battle war, but being in this type of match. Up because you never know that's going to be your end here. And now, each are trying to go after Pro here. I mean, each has been going pretty damn well. He's like here. He's like the man that's been here the longest because he started at number one or two. He's one of the first two guys to be in this. But you know what? He got fit. Yeah. <laughs> There's a neck breaker. Oh, well. Uh oh. Here on Ball Park, this is coming in, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, boy. Oh, see, so Mike's out of it. And so is Nugent now. Her rank not going too well in this type of battle right Oh, man. And now we're off is gone by Murrow. Wow. I think Murrow made this sense to become really eerie of uh, Avalon ever since. Uh, is that uh, he got out of his trance. And if you weren't here with us the last couple of weeks, he was just up as proper smoke. He was uh, just up with some hard body with long hair and uh, pink singlet. Oh, and Adam Strange comes in at number 12. Uh, he tagged up with Tyler in the uh, Battle World that was for the uh, said he was going to wrestle for the ECW tag team titles. Uh, Friday night, which was originally won by Alan B and Motor City Mike, but Alan B did not, yeah, was it, did not make it, so, uh, I guess he had to give up the shot, but instead, uh, Mansfield was nice enough to give him a shot here in this, uh, humble here. Now Jeff and Matt Hardy is going to get their opportunity to take down Punch Martinez and Van Gogh. Good luck, guys. You need another Terry Inc. members? You can't deny it. Can't deny it. Oh, 
Ay, señor, come la nota. You just think about it this way, Brian Taylor can win. He can get that long way to world title match he wants. He's been Universal Champion. Go that way. Goes over cursing Luke Jonah and, and now Strange, a great profit for most of them. So what you make going to do to Parkus? Oh, over the top. Wow. Unbelievable. And don't wish you made that Parkus off. It's only look to a pack team number. And here comes Major James. Mm -hmm. a good number, but they could stand here long enough. Just going to it. Uh oh, what the heck is? It? Oh man, are you kidding me? Mr. It's a golden opportunity.
Steve Williams coming in. Wow. We're getting down to the mid great here. And it was a good thing for Wolf Chalk and Linda, you know, I probably would guess he would love that going ticket, but I know he's still got a Great Lakes title match to be defending tonight. Now the Magnificence gone already, holy cow. Oh, he's shown a surprise here now. He shows up here and there, let's put it that way. Billy Paul, number 19. We're getting down to the nitty we're getting the second last man in this. Uh, number 20, I'm still trying to figure out who the heck it is. Oh, and uh, he just, oh, man, what devastation by Billy Paul as he just took out Don Ocean Man and then he came in there. Holy cow. Oh, man, talk about being a strength. And here comes Kasuki Yorohara. You love to get that title. You love to get that because I guess he would cash in for another bunch of way world title shot. He was a he was a two-time MSW world champion and uh, basically basically he wouldn't like nothing more than to get that get another shot at that title. You know he would. Oh and Yorohara and tapping him with an elbow on the head and a kick to the leg. Her has got that unique martial arts fighting style. Well, it's kind of reminds you of those, one of those guys from that video game Street Fighter. Only difference is I think guy in Street Fighter wore red. But not a loss. Oh, beautiful Jody by Major James. They call him the human action figure about him. He was a how how his tank. The stature is, but uh, you know what? He pulls out a lot of surprises. Oh. Where the heck does he get the strength from? Nice power slam. Well, coming tonight, we got the two out of three falls match with Brimstone and Seidel. Also, we got a two out of three falls tornado tag match for the MSW tag team titles, as it will be Seth Rollins and uh, our partner going against Lorenzo and Corey Crichton. Steve Williams goes over, it's down to Major James and Yorohara. Oh boy, that would be something else if Major James wins this. Oh man, look at the weight of upside down suplex. Box the arms up. Set up a double handed stroke to set up chokes. Right, oh man, right there. Damn, nasty. You know, so it's going to take a good half hour with this battle run right? because you got 20 of the best playing for, a, uh, for a goal, what they call the golden tank. Match you, whatever, match you out with, if it's for a title, whatever, grudge match, 
whatever you want. This is how we use a title match. I mean, maybe the only time you may get a uh, little title shot. Oh, and your heart uh, hangs on and comes back in. Pitcher change missed the opportunity to just know it won something me and uh, get out of there. Wow. There's a stump pull on the knee of uh, Yurohara. Pump it. I guess it means, yeah. Oh man, uh, Falcon Arrow. Oh, Terry Press Falcon Arrow. Wow, that was impressive. Major James is giving the Yurohara here. Oh, and Major James wins. Are you kidding me? Wow. The fingers of the heart, the fingers of hearts are in a little surprise. And Major James is just wow. He has that nice golden ticket to cash in against uh, a title opportunity or a match, whatever match opportunity he wants. Congratulations on Major James. Golden ticket winner. All right. Big win. Very big win. Wow. That was incredible. Coming up next, Portia Perez against Raggedy Andy. This should be a good one.
So later on tonight, we got the World Cup qualifier represented for Ireland. This is going to be great against McManus, against Finn, Finn Balor, against Sheamus. That should be an interesting one, folks. Stay tuned for that one. Should be interesting. Get this one going, ladies and gentlemen. Should be interesting. First with Portia Perez, we don't know where the heck she she aligns herself with anymore because she basically I guess Jerry Missile no longer tag team. She's on the tag team tells right now with uh Bethany. Well, this is gonna be interesting. This is a different change of direction for the young Canadian superstar. One half of the uh what used to be known as the Canadian Ninja Squad with uh Nicole Matthews. There she is, folks. Portia Perez. Uh oh. We know that music. Uh oh. Oh, uh, yeah, we know that scary laugh. It is. It's time for Raggedy Annie. been doing pretty good for herself here since uh, debuted in Must See Wrestling. Oh, no. That way. Only loss that she suffered was in an, an elimination tag team. Yeah. Also, she was on a team with Monica Del Rey, Sakura Miura. I forgot who else, but they lost to the team of uh, Sasha Banks, Mandy Rose, Megan Daniels, and Akira. So, that sums that up, basically. Raggedy Annie with a nice waist lock as Portia Perez gets out of it and comes back her own. And now, oh, man, nice, nice good back takedown. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm not sure. I here. Oh, and uh, Porsche, uh, Porsche gets rocked with a knee lift. Holy cow, that was a nasty knee there from... Oh, man, there's Des pressing some punches.
Porsche now getting the advantage here against the Dominic Raggedy Andy. And, oh, what a backdrop. And Mystery Sister looking a little worried. Hey, he looks nice in a gray suit. Got on that. He looks nice in a gray suit. And now, Porsche show, showing that veteran ship. Oh, but look at Raggedy Andy come back. Great. Oh, I see, she's lifting her up. And oh, TKO. Holy cow, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I got the Dragon Sleeper. Oh, the Porsche's not careful. She can't get out of it. Uh, it be a whole lot what she does. A couple of knees to the head of uh, Raggedy Andy. Oh man, Raggedy Andy went sharp. Oh, misses the drop kick. Oh, oh, but Porsche, you know, Andy uh, recovered, but uh, Porsche grabbed her and her on her. by uh, Porsche Perez. Wow. Ah, uh, the dogs are city you can hear them. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, sunset look horrible. Oh, viewers. Porsche Perez now going for it. Oh, and a kick. Yeah. Oh, super kick. Oh, man. Porsche Perez got a pin. Uh oh, and, and Mr. Resistor trying to get the pants out. Encourage Raggedy Andy to get out of this situation she does. Holy cow. And the dogs are out here again in New York City, as you can hear. We'll let the dogs out. That's all I gotta say. Kick to the back by Porsche Perez. Aggressive Canadian superstar. She is taking it to this, uh, she's not afraid of this, uh, wacky, uh, personality known as, uh, Raggedy Andy. Fans are probably wishing she was because I know the fans can't stand Porsche for this. Set her up. Where's she going? Oh, super flex. Oh, no. Oh, man. And, uh, uh oh. 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 Rolling cut. Oh. Ouch. Now she's parading in front of the fans. Bring it down there real quick and uh, tackle Porsche. Don't let her get re see. Ah, bad Yeah, bad boy.
Oh, and Porsche Perez setting up a... Uh, okay. Ah, way too long. It's not Porsche Perez. That's all of it. Now, once again, we see a back and forth battle between these two players. Porsche Perez in trouble and uh oh oh man what a move ouch wouldn't be surprised I knocked out all of our team I would not be surprised Going for a pin. On. Oh, I was going to say she got out of that dread uh, RKO type move off the top rope. I would have been amazed. Oh god, she does not. There's your winner right there. Well, stay tuned, folks. We've still got more action still to come. Here we go. Four elimination dance. Now, this match is pretty important. This is going to, the winner of this match gets to represent Ireland in the MSW World Cup. That's where it's going to be going against Sheamus, Ben Bauer, and Robert. Manus.
we go, folks. One that could be interesting. If Sheamus wins this one, he could be joining his tag team partner in the Terminus. Is always already signed up for Switzerland? Switzerland? That's the question I want to know. It could be oh, possible. Ah, uh, Bala! Well, uh, he does live in Brooklyn, New York now, but he was born in, uh, I mean, uh, he was, uh, he was born in the same country as, uh, he was born in the same place as, uh, Grip was, Gray. Oh, no, Gray, Gray, uh, was a great place to talk to Gray. Yes. Gray County, Whitwell, Republic of Ireland. There he is, folks.
There he is, folks. Grit. Your grit will love to win this one. But who would it? Who would love to represent their home country in uh, the World Cup? There's Roderick Manis right there. One of the biggest underdogs I've ever seen. And uh, he's done very well for the biggest underdog. Three-time WWL Tag Team Champion. Two-time must-see wrestling world champion. Who knows? He's got... He's a kid's got a lot. He's got a young career ahead of him. I mean, both him... I mean, all four of these careers ahead of him still. From what they have gone. No doubt about that, man. There's no doubt. There we go, four-way dance, that means in order to win this one, you gotta get rid of the other three. Simple. I'll tell you what, right now, McMahon is taking care of Balor while Sheamus is going right for quick. Remember, this match gets a represent Ireland and will be joining the likes of Anu Premji. Spin McManus there. You know, both these guys are good friends of the war, are either friends or members of the war pack. Oh, beautiful standing drop. Right now, shame. Oh, Power gets on the. It's on for a jawbreaker on Sheamus. Sheamus just took Balor and back superplexed him off the top. Super back superplexed him. And Grant now pound away on McManus again. And oh! 
Oh, back bridge win. Uh oh, that'd be up for McManus. I think my friend might took too long to get out there. Oh, wait a minute, McManus is gone already. Wow. Oh, great to get to him by Sheamus. After all. Wow. Oh, for the first time he's got the demon makeup on, I noticed. Probably the demon was old. I think uh Word may have slayed the demon. Oh, code break. <laughs> I forget if you get a thin bowler and have that movie is awesome. Oh man. Hey, nation kick. Uh oh. Oh man. Double swap. Short end brain bus, I think we call the 1860. The Bowler. Gonna strike again. Oh, there it is. Oh, front face lock into a sequence into a brain bus. Greg still getting out of it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Ben Bauer. That's, that's great in trouble. Pinball is going to go to, uh, he's going to represent Ireland in the, uh, wow, that hook break. All right, for a change, I guess they're going to have uh, the Battle of the Champions. United States Champion Braun Strowman is going to go against the National Champion Johnny Impact. It'll be interesting. So, no titles on the line, just uh, who is the better champion?
Here we go, folks. Folks, the United States champion, Braun Strowman. Monster among men. Now oh, here comes uh, his uh, opponent, Johnny. Yes, folks, Johnny Impact with his partner Elias. Elias is going to be there at ringside at keeping an eye on the two beauties that Strowman has at ringside, Shashmita and Akira. National champion himself. As Strowman pacing around the ring, we come up for you going with this damn match already. It's going to be here. We'll see who's the better, who's a better title holder, national title holder, or the United States title holder. Bias well, at ringside watching his buddy while Shushmir and Akira. And once again, and all oh, impact from the beautiful backseat. How beautiful is that? That was a great. Oh, and Strowman comes back with that, uh, played it, uh, Jaw breaker, all 380 pounds around it. Yeah. Oh man, it's Strowman to the up. Going right after him and grabbing him, and uh oh, oh, reverse DDT. Being out in the big man, reverse DDT, that looks gentlemen. And no, oh, rams him in the barricade. Oh, but oh, look at that easy uh, judo arm throw by uh, Stroll. Oh man, <laughs> I've never seen a big guy throw a drop kick like to come from Stroll. Oh man, good again. <laughs> Akira's on the right and Jashmir's on the left as uh Oh Rams is back right into the dang ouch. <laughs> but if you missed it, a big news Bobby Six Killers back as Joel Manchin. And Mr. Amazing is no longer working for Must See Wrestling.
Oh, impact. Going right there, Strowman. Ow. Oh, springboard elbow by the national champion as a uh, Elias is uh doing moral support to his tag team partner. Beautiful neck break here. Impact looks so. Uh, oh man, he gets caught while he's getting uh, getting distracted by Shushmiya. Oh man, close lines him up the top. Going right to Johnny Impact here. Got some of that camel clutch. Right there, Strowman. Oh wow, throws him in the corner again. Oh, and there's a knee right to the chest and sternum area of uh, Braun Strowman. Look at Shushmita get up. I get her down there already, Rap. Oh, and uh, impact with a beautiful reversal. Going to try going for a back suplex, and instead he gets pulled off by impact. A beautiful standing move, standing somersault splash. Throws him in the corner. Uh oh, Starship Pain. There it is. It'll be it. Wow, oh, Impact gets the win. Holy cow, there's a major win right there. Johnny Impact beats Braun Strowman. Incredible. Holy cow. I give it up to uh, I give it up to Impact. Incredible man.
Big win for Johnny Impact. Congratulations. Stay tuned, folks. More action still to come. Ah, here we go. Championship time again. Akura Mira and uh, Asuka won that Battle Royal uh, Wednesday night. Is going to go against Jerry Missile and Bethany for the uh, women's tag team titles. That six cars made a new role. He says that. Uh, And from now on, every Friday night will be Tornado Tag Friday. Or right, what the stipulations are, that still be Tornado Tag Friday. This one should be interesting. It's a good fight. I'm gonna see it. This should be yeah. This should be a real good matchup. Here we go, folks. Cheers, Bob says, comparing the number one for two on Asta. Empress of tomorrow. This, her, this could be her night and Sakura's night. Dude, awesome. That apple. She's going against a very vicious, uh, oh, you're going very, against a very vicious tag team at Jury Mess on Pepper. Whole business when he took that tag team title away from Asia Palm Dean and Flip.
There's a challengers. There are the uh, Hornets today. Challengers, and I'll be back as to start as I uh, go downstairs real quick. I mean, the facilities, that is. The champions go right from the Sakura Asuka. Wow. Ah. I uh, know Sakura, honey, you cannot pin off, uh, cannot pin the opponent outside the ring. It would be nice if you could. Now Jerry Missile kicking Asuka down. Oh, and a knee drop right in the chest of Asuka. Wow. Hey, uh, job right now. New job. Oh, good God. Don't forget tonight you got two out of three falls with uh, Brimstone. Oh, he got my goat. I sacrificed my goat. Well, you got the MSW belt. You didn't think that was the only one you had. No, what? Oh, okay. I thought you forgot that you were MSW world champion. I think I said, you know what? Well, what do you think of the news tonight we just talked about? Mr. Amazing Love for MSW. Wow. Yeah, I guess uh, after Fatal, uh, you know, it turned a full scale argument between Kenny and uh, Ming, and uh, Fatal had tired of it. She put her two sets in, and all of a sudden, yeah. 
Gee, she got tired of, uh, she got tired of, uh, what's it, Mr. Mason complaining about MSW, and, uh, told, told us, like, okay, don't like it, hey, get, go, just go, yeah, she says, here, you got two choices, go a pair and would be a man, go a pair and apologize, or else, go, yeah, what's it, basically, just go, what's up, Rollins is gonna have to find a partner tonight, gets to go to the and he, two all three falls on Tornado Tag Match, Ah, I don't know, man. And you know what? I could say stuff about it because I remember he said last week that I didn't have an opinion. You know, I watch many of these matches, and uh, I, according to him, I still don't have an opinion. Well, this is a uh, Cornell Tang. Sa Asuka and Sakura Mira won the uh, Bell Royal. Wednesday night going against the champions Jerry Missile and Bethany. Yeah. Kaz's yeah. daughter and your sister, yes. That's right. And also fighting fighting like crazy. Uh oh 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 man. DDT. Oh no, right now she'll she'll tell you over and she'll tell you she's a champion and uh, she won't care what you gotta say, I guess. Oh that's what she said. Oh, no, so your name's Doyle. Yeah, my name's Doyle, yes. Yeah. No, it does I want to focus on my crown, must fans on the Kickstarter. Thirty man throw or I uh well, 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 rumors I keep hearing is that uh, Kenny and uh, Amazing will have their match uh, at, at Kickstart, but it's got, it, uh, Kenny's going to wait for uh, Mr. Amazing to just get his uh, stuff going with Triple H. Hey, I, heard, uh, I thought it was you with Triple H and Logan. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, we heard rumors, yeah, we heard it was his own, I guess. I, I guess uh, Mr. Amazing tried making it worse by saying that he saw his TMZ tape of uh, Kenny with another woman, which is going to turn out to be. Uh, uh, Kenny, Kenny admitted that he doesn't want anything to do with Triple H. Hey, uh, you know what? In your face. Uh, yeah. Any uh, Seth and uh, AJ, you Yeah, but yeah, basically, he, uh, he told me that uh, Kenny told me that he was glad because he says he doesn't trust Bishop. Uh, I guess. Uh, oh man, ouch! Psycho Driver by Cherry Miss, AK Missile Landing. Sakura kicks out again. We thought she was going to kick out that, that missile landing, that jury missile in her whip. I like some of the stuff I was reading on the forum today between the arguments of these two. It's like, uh, you know what, and, and you know what, I know even I'll kick. Yeah, I know that, uh, what is it, basically Kenny tries to keep his composure, but it's like, uh, Amazing said that he claims that he made, that Kenny made, uh, Terry just to make himself look like. What the heck? I, you know, bunch of crap. Oh yeah, that was where the founder, so, yeah. Joe Nesco was even a powder. He was just a uh, later on member. He just joined Percy the uh, family token by Samus Black. Right? What was the one, that one moment turned into like four months? Actually. Yeah. Uh -huh. A kiss. No. It's kind of big in four months. Kind of bad. Who knows? Oh, and a power drive again. 
a mirror or something so far as that, that, you know what, that's going to be a mirror, but that's too, well, she's power driving when she took her neck, good god, only well, we thought I was going to represent Ireland in the musty musty world, I will be Finn Bauer, Pete Rick, Robert McManus, and Sheamus, <coughs> and of course Major James has a very prestigious prize and one that is that golden title, cash in for any kind of match, title match, any specialty match, anything. That's what we learned, ladies and gentlemen. I'll do some. I'll get something more fancy. It sure doesn't have an as its middle name. Let's <laughs> tear with you, Oh, backstrike driver by Bethany. I think she learned that from Asia. Oh. It was that they tried to get what? Uh, 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 yeah, I heard. Oh man, another pile driver. A secure survives out of surprise. That's the question. God. The neck is not made to be a human. It's got to be one of the weakest part of your bodies. That's it. We've got people to be on in with coffee. The winner of the match, Jerry Missile and Bethany. Still your tag team champion. I'm going to call himself Sparkle and Shine. To try to slap Patel in the face. I bet, yeah, the new Sparkle and Shine is the call. Oh, it was Fatal, Jerry Missile, and Bethany. And uh, now they, now Jerry Missile decided to move Bethany up to uh, senior me uh, charter member instead of reserve member. That's how that works. And man, this is these two have turned into a vicious tandem. Much to the dismay of the fans. Really, that's not really like, uh, hidden, hidden. Yeah. Hey, of course, yeah, Kenny yeah, said, of course, I'll retire. Yeah, technically, he says that, uh, it's like, yeah, they negotiate a new contract with me. Maybe I'll come back. It's like, right now, it's like, I just want to clean up what's going on here, of course. And what Kenny said, I know, and I know what Kenny's trying to say is that he's not sure. He says the back feels fine right now, but. Give it time, he's like, he wants to make sure it's going good for sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can play, uh, yeah, when, when we get, when we could get all set there, once well, and over. He said, uh, silhouette and dead, no doubt man, say, uh, he trying to say, finish, or uh, whatever. Ah, uh, Hardy Boys, it wasn't what she's supposed to be. LMP and Motor City Mike, but LMP's plane got delayed, so uh, it's going to be the Hardy Boys instead against uh, against Punishment and Vampiro. Um, yeah, but when they join, oh. let's go in. They were the first members to join when they said, Re you remember the promo, it's like Vampiro says, it's like, okay, if the Def Dealer's going to start Terror Incorporated again, me and Punishment are in. And there you go, right there. I'll tell you what, it's a, it's a vicious tag team. Michael and they are stable, vicious. What? Stable. Yeah. They are a vicious tag team. We got about the thing tonight. No. Yeah. Yeah, when I see Triple H on a special uh, tag team, I'm holy. Yeah. But a funny thing, who got contracts? Who can he? Great, uh, Hogan, Mr. Mason, uh, Seth, uh, Seth Rollins. Who got contracts? I don't know. Two out of the, uh, three. Joe's borderline. Yeah, uh, um, yeah, I think he's no on void right now because of the retirement. He was no, retired. No, he's still, uh, active. <laughs> yeah. But I'm just saying, 
They should not supposed to be there. Something like that's supposed to be. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're just popping up whenever the hell they feel like it. I'm afraid they, I, I wouldn't be surprised they tried doing that here in Must See West, and I would not be surprised. I'll be just. I'm not trying to do a jerk. Look at Man, get out. I'm going to do it. It's amazing. Man. Listen. Yeah, Joe Kenny. Yeah, you know what? Joe Kenny wants to sell this one on one. Go ahead. Go ahead. Pick up your booth. Okay. And Joe Kenny okay. and Triple H has even had its history. I take it over and must see wrestling once. Come on, let's go. I'm just going to. Of course, we'll see Kenny later on with Brian Fisher against uh, the Death Dealer and Sean O'Hare. A Terry Bulls match, which is Bulls count anywhere in extreme rules. Yeah. Have to do it. Got in the back of here. It'd be work. Yeah. I don't know about that. Whenever, uh, yeah, whenever she gets an opportunity, it's like. Something like. Yeah. Something like. 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 Something Show will be later on the broadcast against El Rey Miguel Santos. He, he was the only one that was willing to wrestle twice tonight. He says he'll take place in the Golden Ticket Rumble, which he came up short winning, but he's going to defend the Great Lakes title against El Rey tonight. This should be interesting. Because Jeff and uh, Matt have to, what it takes to defeat these two demented athletes. That's going to be the question. We'll have to find out. They were lucky enough to get the tail shot because he would run us up in the Battle Royal. Of course, Motor City Mike well for his troubles, and unfortunately, that since he couldn't get Russell for those today, he got entry in the Golden Ticket Rumble, and he came off a little bit short. Your name was not Major James, you came up short in the Rumble. Oh. He's unstoppable, and you know what? That'd be funny to see some like Major James against Holderman, or Major James against Seidel, or Major James against, uh, Rattnall Hopper. Uh, you know, have to say about all day. Yeah. Matt Bourne, like me, act Matt Bourne? What a stupid movie. Okay. All right, thank I, you for clearing that up. And, uh, ben, uh, yeah, I heard some stuff going on with Bat, too. I guess I heard somebody, uh, supposedly poisoned his medication. Yeah. yeah. That's why I, uh, dropped my, uh, hope on, uh, I hope, uh, Chris Bat will come back and, uh, be reconsidered, Joe. I guess Mr. Mason, I sit on the floor too. When uh, when uh, I guess Kenny called him Bennett. Bennett's like, who's Bennett? It's like, and then Kenny goes with the greatest response, you. Who else? <laughs> yeah, we all know that because it, yeah, who? I mean, everybody knows that because we're 
Go, oh, who's his sister? Chris? Who's his son? Matt? <laughs> oh, man. Nah, you know what? I hope, I hope he's going to be going on. I hope if he can get this truck life situation out of way, I hope everything will be all right. Punishment now take a mat and oh man. And what's our uh, punishment going for? Is he going for that speed discus kit? Oh man, and uh Vamp got out of the way and uh arm dragged him, so uh punishment will have to hold up on that big spinny kick he likes to do. Oh and Jeff Hardy hits Van Pearl as Van Pearl was waiting for Matt Hardy to come off the ropes. Uh, a man where he gets met with a belly to belly by punishment. Oh, is he gonna try for it again? Uh oh. Here we go. It's gonna he knows this this could be over with. Oh man, a man already just got nailed good in the face. Wow. Oh but Matt Hardy uh he bounced back quickly so he, he must not took a blow that damage. Oh wait a minute! Yeah. Oh yeah, Matt. Matt yeah, Matt uh, Hardy. Uh, Matt Bennett. Matt Born and uh, Matthew uh, Major James. Yeah, Major Matthew James. That's the name. And that's it. Matt Hardy gets it back. And who the hell are gonna stop this? Two? Who knows if they do? Uh, once again, Punishment and Van Pearl get a big victory over a, a legendary tag team. Holy cow. Alright folks, stay tuned for another segment. We will be right back. <laughs> 